morning, good evening, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day um, and I'm bringing to you guys a slightly different video, it's a review. Um, so if you haven't watched my um, Scottish National Short Course vlog then you won't know that I received a new wetsuit which is just chilling here next to me. Um, I received the tier or TYR, however you want to call it, um, the Tia Hurricane Category 1 wetsuit from Bright Sports. So if you are interested in buying this wetsuit, you can definitely get it from Bright Sports. I love that company. Just a little shout out to them. But I do want to say that all of my views are my own and they are completely unbiased, um, despite the fact that I received this wetsuit from them. So, um... Obviously, I'm reviewing this wetsuit and comparing it to the wetsuit that I used to wear, which is the Blue 70 Fusion wetsuit. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so, I'm going to start with the Blue 70 wetsuit, just because... It is the wetsuit that I can talk about the most because I have worn it in the water. So, it is 100% um, neoprene, which is a buoyant and flexible material um, which can last in all varying temperatures, um, hence why it's so good in cold water. Um, and it has uh, a fairly thin neckline but I would say it rides very high um, just after trying on the tier wetsuit I would say that that does come a little bit lower which doesn't feel like it's choking me I would say um, the the um, I'm going to try not to compare too much at the moment and then I'll give you a comparison at the end so um, the neckline is just a uh, standard fit uh, it doesn't have velcro adjust that's the only thing i would say is the problem with this wetsuit because not everybody's neck is the same size um yeah as i said it can feel a bit suffocating and i have in the past i've got really bad wetsuit rub from this suit and i can't say if it's the way like it's obviously not the way i was wearing it because i've had it all the time I've worn it but I have had like really bad scarring burning from that wetsuit um I also it's not all negative the um there is beautiful buoyancy in this wetsuit the flexibility is beautiful and I there is a good range of motion in it um it does say on the Blue 70 website that it has honeycomb forearm panels. Now, I'm not really sure what this does. It looks pretty because it's in like a funky design on the wetsuit, but it says here that it increases feel for the water. Now, I'm not overly sure if it does actually do this, but I would say that it does look fairly nice. <laughs> um, I know that's not very informative, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so the cuffs are beautifully tight. It is a well-fitting wetsuit. And I do know that it is on Pro Swimwear for £149.99. Now, I got mine reduced. Um, so if you hit the sales right, obviously with Boxing Day coming up, there might be sales on Pro Swimwear, I don't know. But if you hit the sales right, you can definitely get this wetsuit for um cheaper i think i got mine for 80 pounds i want to say or it might be 90 don't hold me to it so i would definitely um say this is a good wetsuit um overall my only criticism for it is the fact that the neck doesn't have an adjustable movement in it it is very tight and suffocating that's my only thing i would say about it but this wetsuit's been an absolute babe to me we are lifelong friends and i will still i will still use it even though i've got my new one 
I, I mean, I'm not gonna let, let it go. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so to begin with, this wetsuit does come with this bag. Um, it absolutely stinks of wetsuit, but it's a definitely a very good idea to keep it in the bag just to look after it and protect it. So I'm gonna pull it out the bag. So this is what it looks like um, from just taking out the packaging, uh, a packaging. Um, as you can see, there's the honeycomb panels that I was talking about. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a very good wetsuit. I loved it. I have loved it. Um, it's this really fluorescent orange inside, which do you know what is something different. So you can see where the panels work. So I'm going to try this on for you guys. So I'm not going to zip it up just because I can't be dealing with that. But uh, as you can see, I'm just wearing normal underwear under it. It's slightly different to normal. But as you can see, this neckline is quite thick um, and it can cut in. Um, I also would say, um, just to, from the negatives, I'm going to go negatives first because I do love this wetsuit. Um, so... So as you can see, there's this like slight seam in the knee and I presume it's for um, movement, but personally, I have very disproportioned legs compared to my body and it does tend to um, sit quite funny when I bend my knee. I mean, you don't bend your knee that much when you're swimming, but it is still quite restrictive. For all, the arms are perfect length. Um, they're beautiful. It is a beautiful wetsuit. Um, it fits really well and it's really thick. Uh, slightly thinner at the sleeves. Um, and generally I get a beautiful range of motion from this wetsuit. Um, and I do love it deep down. One thing I would say is that the legs do go short on me. Um, I do wear a women's medium long and I am five foot 10, but I may have grown. There is a debate about this, but I would say that they are quite short, but that's not a problem. And um, the ankle cuffs are not too tight, but they still stay on. Same with the wrist cuffs allow me movement um, and they are quite long as you can see. So that is the blue 70 wetsuit and I'm getting ridiculously warm so I'm gonna take it off. Um, as I said it does fit me well. I wear a woman's medium long um, and I fluctuate between 61 and 63 kilos and I am five foot ten, slightly over five foot ten. So I'm gonna quickly change back into clothes and switch to talking about the Tia wetsuit. Okay, so the Tia wetsuit is also made of neoprene. Um, it has foam fitting wrist cuffs with a multi stretch thing. Not entirely sure. Um, I'm not. A genius. <laughs> um, they also do have quick release ankle cuffs and they have this speed wrap panelling which I'm not entirely sure what it is and they also have range of motion zones. So um, obviously they've put a lot of thought into this wetsuit and I do know that Tia do work alongside their athletes to enhance their products. Um, I just want to compare prices on the same website. So if you remember the price from the um, Blue 70 Fusion wetsuit, I have put it here. And to compare this, on Pro Swimwear, the Tier Hurricane 
category one women's wetsuit is £158.99. So it is slightly more expensive. But the one thing I would say is if you are anywhere near Scotland, then Right Sports do do renting of these wetsuits. So you can rent these wetsuits for the season, for a week, for a, for a competition. You can rent them and it is for a fraction of this price. So I think this is a really good idea because not everybody has the money to spend ridiculous amounts on a wetsuit. Um, particularly if you're only doing one or two events um, or want to get the feel for the wetsuit in the water. Okay, so on the Right Sport website, it is £75 for a season hire of this wetsuit. £75 for the whole season. That is an incredible offer. It's basically half price and you get to wear it the whole season. So that's from the very first open water competition to the end so that could be from April May time to September the start of September so you're spending £75 to have a wetsuit that whole time per event it is £15 which I would say is a really good deal because say you're just doing one event it saves you from buying one wetsuit the one thing i would say is you have to work out how many events you're going to do whether or not it benefits to rent it for the season or the event now season does include training so you probably could get quite a few wears out of it so i will leave the link for the right sport renting um down below in my subscription bar um, if you guys are interested they do do fittings as well so you can go to them and they will fit the wetsuit perfectly for you I know they got my size bang on they are absolute experts in this field and genuinely would definitely go there for a fitting before buying or renting just a quick last thing from me about this renting system they are delivered through dpd so you know that it will be safe and they are delivered as if they are you are buying so um and you're expected to care for the wetsuit um yourself and look after it if there are any holes i'm sure you can find the terms and conditions on the website but just a quick point out Okay, so I'm going to try this wetsuit on for you guys and let's have a look at the difference between this one and the Blue 70 Fusion. Okay, so when you receive this wetsuit, it comes in a box, which is slightly different to the Blue 70 one. I'm sure it did come in a box. It's a while since I bought it, but it didn't come in as much protection as this. Now, when I got this, it had foam, it had bubbles, it had massive things to protect it it also comes with this um important pack which has caring details it has a booklet about the wetsuit it has gloves and socks to put it on it generally it comes with stuff that is designed for you to protect your wetsuit and keep it as long as possible then we obviously have the wetsuit it's a bit inside out because i tried it on um earlier but it um, is all black as you can see which to me I'm fine with because colour does run um, in the water and it can go a bit funny then you have this massive wetsuit bag now I'm not being funny this bag is huge and it definitely can fit the wetsuit in and more Okay, so I wear a medium slash large in this wetsuit, which um, is slightly different to the other one. Uh, I'm going to try it on for you guys and show you. Oh my gosh, I do not know why I left my heating on to do this video. Um, so, this is the tier wetsuit. Um, as you can see, it's beautifully seamless. Um, and I'm going to talk it through with you guys. So first things first, the neckline, it feels slightly lower and it doesn't feel as restrictive. It comes with this beautiful Velcro-y thing to strap the neck so it can be adjustable to your size, which is different to the Blue 70, it's kind of a one size fits all. Whereas this one you can adjust and strap to make it tighter 
if you please. So that is amazing from the guys at Tia. I fully applaud you because you guys clearly thought this through. Okay, so obviously this is not zipped up, but as you can see, the sleeves are roughly the same length, um, fairly similar length, and there is just as much, if not, I would say there's actually more range of motion in this wetsuit. Um, obviously I'm comparing both um, as unzipped, um, I would say that this one has slightly more range of motion actually, um, which is interesting. The other thing I would say is that this knee thingy, which was on the other one, is a lot higher up. So there is a lot nicer range of motion in the knee. This one's also shorter on my leg, but that's not too much of a problem like I said before. I think this sits better um, in my legs and there's less of a droopy crotch um i mean obviously it's not zipped up but i would say it definitely feels a lot better fit than the blue 70. um overall the wetsuit feels just as thick the sleeves are slightly tighter but not too tight um the, the ankles are about the same I would say. Okay, so a quick overview. Um, personally, I do, I mean, I've not worn it in the water yet. I do prefer the tier wetsuit just because it has that adjustable neck and the way it fits seems a little bit better. Overall, I would say it's a more well thought out suit. I think it is newer than the Blue 70 wetsuit. I might be wrong there, but I think it is newer, so it will have more technology behind it. Um, Obviously, it's slightly more expensive. It's just whether or not you're willing to spend that money. I think if you were buying a wetsuit outright, I think you would want to get something more quality, which will last longer, I would personally say. So just for an extra 10 to 20 quid, I think it is definitely worth it. Um, I would say though that the Blue 70 wetsuit is still a very good wetsuit so it's hard to compare the two because they are both so good but that's all I would say in terms of being quite fussy and obviously I'm a bit of a wetsuit snob. So without further ado I'm going to conclude this video, it's probably dragging on a little bit too long but I really hope this has been helpful for you guys, uh, I just hope it's helpful for you guys choosing a wetsuit, obviously with the wa open water season coming up uh, in a couple of months uh, it's good to get to know these things and see where you need to be. So obviously you can rent the wetsuit the tier wetsuit from right sports which i think is a really good idea especially if you're just starting out open water um but i would definitely recommend that so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel click the subscribe button um because i do upload regularly at the moment <laughs> um uni's off so i am definitely more regular with my videos um I hope this was helpful. Uh, I will leave my Twitter and Instagram links below. Uh, please give me a follow. Please comment below if this has been helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!